Welcome guys to the second part of how to give your desktop a splendid look. If you haven't watched the first part, I've given the link in the description and you can also see in the screen somewhere here. Just click on it. Before watching the second part, you should watch the first part because you will not know what's gonna happen now. So I recommend to watch the first part and then come to second part. So in that video, I've shown that how to transform your desktop from this to this. And before we start, if you haven't subscribed my channel, just go to my YouTube channel and subscribe and you will find a bunch of other useful videos and tons of other tips. So just go and check it out. The next step that we need to do is download the Nexus setup. And I have put the link in the description for the Nexus setup. So you can go and click it and and then download. You can also download it from its official website. Just write Nexus Doc and Google and download. Okay, once the download is finished, we will extract it and let's just install it. Okay, let's launch it. And now <clears throat> we need to remove all these icons here in the dock. Okay, remove from dock. Yes. So I'm going to remove one by one. And then we will go to preferences and let's just customize it. Okay. We will go to position and we will change from top to bottom. Apply. And then we go to uh, effects. Here we can change the delayed effect. Okay, let's just move on. Uh, and I'm going to change all of them very quickly. Basically, you can customize the way you want. There are tons of other settings and options that you can customize yourself. And then I'm going to change the theme of. I'm going to select this Leopard and apply. And then I would like to make this icon smaller and then okay and that's it and the next step we need to do is insert some new dock items and we can customize that you can insert any kind of programs and icons that you want so we're gonna add some programs and some websites here so we need to select from the item type program and then find item and then find the program that you want to add on the dock for example adobe photoshop and go to the folder where it is installed and then select this icon open and then we can change the icon you can select these icons from the folder that i've given you already okay we will select another one find item and this time we're gonna select uh adobe premiere and then I'm going very fast after this. And now we will select websites, URLs. So here select URL and then I will type the name of the website, YouTube, and then www.youtube.com. And then change icon 
and then select icon from the icon folder open ok and ok and that's it and you can do the rest like this And then we can also add web, WhatsApp, or uh, Messenger, or Telegram, anything that you use. So just open it once and copy the link. And paste it here, and then OK. You can also add Telegram and Messenger in the same way. Uh, let's check it. And it opens, so it means that it works. OK, I want to bring some changes from the preferences here. My all icons are black here. I would like to change it. Okay. Okay, I will like this flush one here. Apply and okay. And again, if you want, you can just make these icons more smaller from here. And then we will go to appearance and how much each icon should be reflected we will decrease that and we'll go to talk transparency and I would like to increase the transparency not for the icons but for the talk this is how I want it to be you can also customize however you want it You can do some mini adjustments here. Basically, you can play with the settings and just spend some time and then you will learn all about it. And then let's remove the icon of Nexus itself. And let's just check our icons and open them one by one so that do they work or not. Let's go with the YouTube first. As we can see, the all are working pretty fine. They don't have any issue. And if you find any issue with yours, you can just write down in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of more adjustments here. From this section, you can also decrease the transparency of the items on the desktop. Let's just change the transparencies. How do they look? Okay. That's pretty nice. That's okay. Let's do some adjustments here on the Nexus. Let's just play with transparency here again. Okay, let's just that's pretty fine. I don't think so. We need to do it. We need to make any other changes here. And so this is how you can give your desktop a splendid look. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions, just write in the comment section below. And if you want me to make more videos like this, just recommend me and write down in the comment below. So if you haven't subscribed and like the channel, go ahead and do that. Thank you guys for watching.